Flights coming into O'Hare this morning from Las Vegas were delayed because of that mass shooting. CBS 2's Susanna Song is live at O'Hare Airport where she talked with one passenger who made it home safely. Hi, Susanna. Good morning. I talked to a Chicago man who flew to O'Hare this morning. He was stuck at the airport in Las Vegas when it went on lockdown. Angel Rodriguez and his wife spent the weekend in Vegas to celebrate her birthday. They got on an airport shuttle last night right before the shooting started. They weren't anywhere near Mandalay Bay, but the driver was heading in that direction to pick up one other passenger. As they were on their way, they got a call. When we got to the airport, uh, they, they shut down the airport. So everything was shut down. The flight got delayed. We got in there. Everybody was sleeping all over the airport. I mean, a lot of flights were canceled, uh, were, were stopped. Planes were still up in the air. They won't let them land. Then we got onto our cell phones and we, we heard the news what was going on. It was devastated, you know. Feel bad for those people. His flight was delayed um, about a couple of hours. He said before he got on the plane, the death toll was only at two, and then when he landed, it was at more than 50. You can imagine he was at a loss for words when we spoke to him. Live at O'Hare Airport, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News.